boys and girls welcome to my series of technical talks first of all i would like to apologize because i discontinued the series that's my bad but there were some reasons for that of course i was traveling quite a lot around the globe and also my technical stuff was not that updated it was a, a old camera a nikon a 3200 which doesn't have a that flip screen so i have to bring in someone and focus on them then record a lot of stuff needs to be there but recently i updated uh, my technical gadgets and now i can record much faster so welcome back on to the technical talks i have so much content being planned and that i really want to share so let's get started with this the single most powerful programming language that you should be learning in 2016 and I can see that it will definitely going to be scale up in 2017. So what is that? So if you're expecting C, C++, maybe Python, Ruby, that's not all it. That's this guy, the JS, the JavaScript. And since I'm making a point and I'm selecting one particular language, obviously lots of people are going to hate me and some of them are hard-coded fan of C, might be C++, Python and all of that. But let me make a point here. So I would like to start with that. I love Python. I have coded it in, I have coded in this language for about let's say two or maybe three years, maybe more than that, because I started with this language and not about those uh, little teeny tiny stuff i have coded it for a professional grade i have created some information security tools which are available at github some of them i lost on my computers and i've also helped quite a lot of companies to build their applications in python so i'm a big fan of python and on top of that recently let's say uh, seven to eight months back or maybe just about that I switched to Swift, which is Apple's new programming language. I, I created some of, I tried to create some of the apps I got succeeded with in that. So Apple app, I like the language Swift quite a lot. In fact, at first I thought it's the best language if you want to teach any beginners. In fact, I still do uh, believe in that. But I also helped a couple of veteran iPhone and iOS developers. So it was a good experience. But still, I'm saying I'm a big fan of JavaScript now. I was not a big fan of JavaScript in, uh, let's say, uh, four, three or four years back. But now, this is the fun most programming language I would advise all of you to learn as quickly as possible. Things are escalating. You cannot even imagine the rate of or accelerating rate of this particular language. You will be amazed when you will jump into it. Now, it's not about, obviously it comes with uh, assuming that you already know HTML, CSS, but that's basic, everyone knows that. If you still don't know that, that's really bad. You should be switching on to my channel uh, or my website, new to me, and you can actually watch some good lectures out there. Okay, let's leave it there. But what you, why you should be learning JavaScript? Because it really gets, gets crazy when it gets out there with some advanced frameworks like uh, maybe jQuery or recently the AngularJS, the Node.js. I'm really very, very thrilled when I just uh, completed uh, two projects out there in the Node.js. They are marvelously powerful. I don't even need PHP, ASP or maybe any other language, just JavaScript everywhere. So just learn one language and I can do a tons of things. Even I can design iOS app, Android apps, Windows app. Of course, they will not be as powerful as native apps, although they say it, but performance wise, it's a little bit lag, which uh, non-technical people will never ever know if they are that. Even technical people will not know about that if they don't know about the performance comparisons. And that's really a kind of a thesis level topic. That's, let's not go there. But again, let's come back here. The single most powerful technology that I consider right now to learn is JavaScript. If you're still not yet up with JavaScript, you should really leave everything out there and should get started with JavaScript. Of course, uh, I would say, I would not just make a point that learn it. I would say that there's a part to learn JavaScript. Uh, the first one is of course HTML and CSS. And once you learn the JavaScript, create a few functions, try to do some things out there, but then quickly switch on to the jQuery because when you actually polish your JavaScripts, stuff with the jQuery you actually start to like the language and once you then like it move on to AngularJS as quickly as possible. It would be intimidating at first but what it isn't but once you'll get over with the AngularJS you will really like this language quite a lot and then you can move on to server side like Node.js or something. Again I'm not advocating any language so let me know in the comments below what is your favorite programming language 
and we'll discuss it more. I'll be much more frequent in the technical talks. See you out there.